In science, some words sound very similar. An error is something you've done wrong. There's a problem in your method, or perhaps a piece of equipment hasn't been calibrated properly, or perhaps something is varying randomly. Like the volume of a liquid measured by eye with a measuring cylinder will vary slightly from the desired true value. You've done an experiment and the results you've got weren't what you expected. Isn't that the same thing as an anomaly? Well, there's an important difference between the two. All experiments have random errors. It's inevitable and you can't get rid of them. You can minimize them with careful experiment design and reduce them by repeating your investigation and calculate a mean from that data, but they'll still be there. An anomaly is a result that differs from the rest or from what was expected, but that can't be explained away by the normal random variation. It either means something's wrong with the method or the equipment or that you've discovered something significant. Let me give you an example. One of my neighbours has a dog that barks loudly about every 10 minutes. That's through the night as well, in case you're wondering. Sometimes it's eight minutes, sometimes 12, but on average, every 10 minutes. Last week, one night when they've gone out, the dog started barking really often, much more often than normal. In fact, it was well outside the dog's normal frequency. You might say it was anomalous. Anomalies are always interesting, so I looked out the window and saw a group of shadowy figures breaking into their house. I watched the big TV being put in the back of a van and realized that the cause of the anomaly was the dog's alarm at these unknown people. It was an unknown variable which had caused the deviation from the average. It was really satisfying to solve that problem and saying that if their dog hadn't annoyed me so much, I might have actually called the police.